Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here, and we are back in Imperion. And yes, yes, once again, oh, so frustrated. And you might ask, why? Why are you frustrated? And I will tell you. And if someone has a valid reason or answer for me, I would appreciate it. Once again, the ship. All of my sensors, all of my stuff have been redone. Is it because I put it on the repair pad? Because every time it seems like I put it on the repair pad, it seems like everything just gets reset and changed and it's different and yeah. So... That's the thing. All my sensors are... are uh, are redone all of my boxes are renamed back to the original and to be quite honest I'm in one of those moods today that I just don't have it in me to correct it so we're just gonna take off we're just gonna go do some stuff instead because yes yes like I said so, and I must apologize, guys, if I come across a little, um, a little unenthusiastic, I do apologize. I have the most horrible headache right now that I have had in, like, a long time. Oh, there's an O system right there. I just saw it. Let's go check out the O system. Aha. We're going to go do things. We're going to go do things. I'm trying. I really am. Now, for those of you who have been around for a while and have watched, yes, every once in a while, I'll get a excruciating headache that lasts for three days. And I am on the beginning of the second day of said headache. So, yes. Yay. But anyway... We've got to place an advanced system probe. Okay, do we have an advanced probe? I hope we have an advanced probe. What do we got here? Yes, we do have an advanced probe. We do. 100%. Okay. Boom. O-class star systems are likely to have an abundance of hot and lava planets. You know, it seems like there's more, like, hot and lava planets than anything else in this galaxy. I'm kind of like, no, I don't know. I kind of want other planets, too, but at the same time, I can understand why there's so many hot planets. It does make sense. All right, warp to another O-class. Well, we got one O-class. So that's cool. So, what do we have here? We're going to have a bunch of what? Come on. Arid planet. We have lava planet. And another arid... Oh, no, that's... Black desert. A barren... Yeah. Okay, well, by any chance, is there any more O's over here? It's been like I've had such a struggle trying to find an O, O class star. I, I know I keep calling them planets, but I mean in the stars. Just kind of, just kind of want to look around for a second and see, is there any more O's? I am so not seeing any more O's. Doesn't mean they're not out here. It just means that I have yet to find them. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to go in this direction today. Who knows, maybe we can find the other two O's. Maybe we can't. We shall never know until we try. No, I bet we can find them. I bet so. Just going to take a little bit of looking. 
All mices. All mices. Okay. Just looking around a little bit. A couple G class. There's a no. All right, we got our second O class. Yep, always in the middle of the sun. All right. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Hot systems can be a good source of gold. Okay. I have noticed that a lot of the lava planets have gold. So that would be a correct statement. Come on. There we go. Warp to one more O-class system. So, what do we got in this system? We've got, what are you? You are a what? <clears throat> um, oh, it's an exploration site. Okay, I was wondering what was going on with that. Sometimes, I don't know. Sometimes when you click on stuff, it doesn't fully, like, update until you, like, re-clicked on it. Uh, what planet is that? A plasma planet. Large plasma planet. Gravity 2.6. Now, that's not too, too high of it, but... Abyssal Xerax, huh? Hmm. Extreme caution is advised. You know, I wonder. I do wonder... I need, I need to get a, a, uh, CV that can handle, handle a heavy warp, or not a heavy warp, a heavy gravity, why did I say warp, oh, it's one of those days, guys, I, like I said, it is one of those days, mining class site 2, gravimetric anomalies, um, okay, well, let's keep going. Let me see, do we have one more O-class star? I would love to be able to finish out the O-classes today. Not seeing anything. Hmm. Let's go this way, shall we? Seems like I've had a little bit of luck just kind of traveling this outer edge just ever so slightly. Let's warp to this one. And we'll see where we're at from there. Okay, got to fill the pentaxid tank. We used every drop of pentaxid. Uh, which one of my boxes is it? I have so many. They're all the same numbers. There it is.
Okay. So, well, there's a lot of stuff going on over here. A temperate plateau? Hmm. I don't know if I've been to a temperate plateau. An unusual planet with vast plateaus towering high in the sky and a mix of vast woodland and open glades. The climate is moderate and it has a breathable atmosphere. Why don't we go check that out? I've never been to a temperate... Uh, temperate plateau I wonder if there's anything unique at a temperate plateau oops <laughs> I, I was about to say why am I not flying faster I'm holding down oh I'm holding down two yes two does not make you fly faster Oh, that's a pretty looking planet. I like you. I like the looks of it. All right, guys. I'm going to cruise on down to the planet. I'll bring y'all back in just a second. And down we go. Oh, that's cool. That is very cool. So there, I mean, there is plateaus here. Yeah, I mean, I'd hope so. I'd hope it wouldn't be, like, mislabeled, but, you know. It, it has a very Highlands-type feel to it. I kind of like this. Yeah, if I was going to build a base here, I might actually build one. Like, right over there looks like a kind of cool area. Okay, got an assembly yard. Oh, you know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Isn't there something I can do with temperate worlds? Can't I use like a basic probe on like my hotbar or something and do something? Um, I could have swore it was supposed to scan the planet for, uh, for those strange statues, or do I have to have that mission activated for it to, for it to hold? Hold on. Let me, let me take a look here. I don't want to interrupt my, my, my star mission here, but. Don't I have... Hmm. I'm not seeing it. Okay. Maybe you lose it after you've closed it? I don't know. I do not know. All I know is that I was told to keep doing the temperate ones as well. And I just remembered we're on a temperate planet. So, you know, why not? I'll keep looking, though. Now, <clears throat> is this pirate or is this what I... Nope, nope, it's pirate. It just said pirate territory. I was hoping it was the statue, but no. Unfortunately, it is not the statue. Yeah, 
Yeah, pirate wreckage. Okay. Well, it is what it is. Yeah, the pirate clans don't like me. They are not fans of the work that I do. How big is this planet? Uh, it's a medium planet. It's not the biggest, but it's not the smallest. Kinda wish I would have brought the tank now. Hmm. Sigma outpost. Okay. Got an old farm. All right, let me circle back. Let me hit some of these. We'll see what we got here. Oops. Clip the ground. Abandoned reactor. Okay. Broken radar. Let me pull to this side real quick. Grab this. Another abandoned reactor. Agri station. Well, so far, other than some uh, cool terrain, haven't really found anything that I would consider special, not yet, anyway. Transportation hub. Hmm. Hmm, is what I say. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to try something here. Hold on. Let me land. Because I wonder if that probe thing would work if I, like, got out of my 
seat and like activated it by hand. Maybe that's what I'm supposed Of course there would be drones right here. Why are there drones right here? That was like the perfect landing spot for me. Then y'all gonna put drones. Why? I'm gonna land here. Man, let's see. Another drone. Another drone. Why is there so many drones around? What if I land up here on this plateau? Okay. No. That is a basic one, right? Yeah, that is a basic one. Yeah, I don't know. I don't remember how to do it now. I could have swore that's all I had to do is put it in my hot bar and it would like take off and work and do stuff on these temperate planets, but I'm so, so confused. Alright guys, well, I'm going to look around for a minute more and I'll bring y'all back in just a sec. Okay guys, I am back and I just come across a colonist hanging garden. Now, never been in a hanging garden. I'm going to check this one out. So, we are going to stop. I said we were going to stop. There we go. And we're going to go check this out as it kills everything in the surrounding area. Oh, look, a golem. Oh, there's so much there. Okay. No, I had to reload. And that one had a little bit of gold on it. Got to love it. I love golems. I really do. They have like the best goodies on them ever. Alright, so let's see. What is the hanging garden all about? Okay, so we have what? We've got a trader here. He is trading in food. We've got... No, 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 no. Don't pull that out. Uh, this dude, he's selling various things. Or no, he's buying various things. Okay. What do we got over here at this building? Anything? No, that's just storage. Okay, so how... Ah, right here. Oh, that dude popped up out of nowhere. Okay, so do we, is that, is that it? I thought there was supposed to be a garden somewhere. I'm confused. Where is your garden? How am I supposed to ask things? Oh wait, I was in their garden? Wait, did we miss, we missed part of it, didn't we? Ah, here we go. Trader seeds, huh? So you just sell seeds and that's, okay. Alright, now I've seen their garden. I'm content. Back into the ship I go. Who 
Oops. Oh, there we go. Don't ask me how I did that one, but we did it. All right. So how much of this planet have I got explored? Um, just about all of it. And I have not found a single, uh, a single thingy. Um, trying to think here. A single statue. I have not found a single statue on this planet. Now that doesn't mean there's not a statue here because of all the plateaus I have been kind of flying a little bit high and I think they have a detection range of 300 meters. So yeah. So I'm not sure if there's one here or not but I do like the planet. I do like the way it looks. And I do like the fact that there is a little bit of variety. I love variety. Variety is the spice of life. Got to love a little bit of variety. And let me see. And well, there's a big spot over here I haven't been to yet. Okay. <clears throat> ah, right there. All the Xeraks. I kind of skipped over them, I guess. That's all right. We'll go take a peek at the Xerax. We'll see what kind of Xerax are on a plateau planet. They seem to be all grouped up, so that shouldn't be too big of a deal. That looks like a patrol vessel over there moving around. Yeah, that thing's moving. Of course, then again, so is that. Hold up. Why are they moving? I'm confused. Xerox POI shouldn't be moving. Um, where did it go? It was a phantom ghost POI? Yeah, I am like so confused here because I sat there and watched that thing move around and then it just disappeared. Kind of like all of these. Or was it picking up drones somehow? I don't know what's going on. Uh, yeah, it had to have been picking up drones. That is so weird. Yeah, that's literally the only thing it picked up right there was drones. Huh. Okay. Well, yeah, I, I don't know if I would say that's new, but that's odd. That is for sure. And, of course, that's the drone base over here, isn't it? Yeah, okay. So, this right here is like the only section of the planet that we haven't really looked at. Okay. I can take a quick peek. That's a nice big plateau. I was kind of hoping the statue would have been up here. That's what I would have done. I would have put it on top of a plateau. Ah, it would have been cool. All right, guys. Well, we found two O-class star systems today. And we looked around on a temperate plateau world, which I have to admit, I really do like the way it looks with all the plateaus and the mountains and the hilliness it it gives it a unique look and feel and I, I like that so it gives it a little bit of a different look here but anyway guys that is going to do it for today's video i do hope everybody has enjoyed it if you have be sure to hit that like button and if you haven't already do me a favor hit that subscribe button 
It is an awesome, awesome, awesome way for you to show your support to me, to the channel, to the video, and to the game itself. And as always, feel free to share the video on any social media you're using. And guys, just like to stop, take a moment, and thank each and every one of y'all for all of your wonderful, awesome support, all the comments, all the likes, all the subscribers, and all the videos shared. It is awesome. I do appreciate it. And with that being said, until next time, survivors, keep on surviving.